and what you hear from the public is a lot of people upset, fans upset, media members upset, and I said it before, I think that Yankee fans are crybabies. And I say that because, as I said, the Yankees, the last 30 years, have not ever finished under 500. Since 95, they've only missed the playoffs four times. And they, that, those two things right there, all right, the fact that they've only missed the playoffs four times, no other team in professional sports in this country has only missed the playoffs that few times since 95. And the Yankees, like I said before, baseball is the hardest sport to make the playoffs in. So just the standard of excellence that the Yankees have had is really impressive. And I'm someone who, when I first became a Yankee fan in the 80s and in the early 90s, the Yankees were a bad team. So I'm someone who grew up on the Yankees being a bad team. So I know how bad it could be for the Yankees, all right, and how bad it was at one time. So when I'm looking at a team that, my first years watching them were a bottom of the basement team, all right? People telling me that the owner had to go. The Yankees would never win another World Series until the owner was gone. And then after that, they end up not only winning all these World Series, all right? They won five World Series since 95. And they won four in five years from 96 to 2000. And since then, they've only won one World Series. That's in 2009. So if you're looking at it from 2001 up until now, the Yankees have only won one World Series, which for them is 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 not good. It's not good for their standards. So that's something that I definitely admit. So because a lot of people want the general manager, Brian Cashman, fired, all right? And Brian Cashman has been the, the general manager of the Yankees since – 1998, and that first year, 98, the Yankees set the all-time wins record in the season that year, winning 114 games in the regular season and winning 125 total when you counted the 11 that they won in the playoffs. And that was the beginning of three consecutive World Series for the Yankees. And after that time, like I said, the Yankees have only won one World Series since 2001, they were in the 2001 World Series and lost in seven games. But they have been a very good team, a strong team, a team that has been in position to win a World Series almost every year along the stretch. So it's not as if the Yankees have been a bad team. But, like, the complaint with a lot of Yankee fans now and media is that the Yankees have not made the World Series since 2019. So, I mean, sorry, since 2009, 2009, 14 years, the Yankees have not made the World Series. And what I'm saying is that's true, but they've still been very good. They've been on the verge. They've been in position to make the World Series a lot since then, all right? 2010, 2012. 2017, 19, and 2022, last season, the Yankees were in the American League Championship Series and lost all those times. So the Yankees have lost in the American League Championship Series the last five times they have been there, which really, yeah, is not Yankee-like at all. The Yankees, the fact that they have lost five straight ALCSs, that's got to be a record for the Yankees in their history because the Yankees are not a team throughout their history dating back to the 20s with Babe Ruth and all those guys, the Yankees were not losing five consecutive years. Well, not five consecutive years, but five consecutive trips over the span of 13 years. The Yankees lost all five of them. And, all right, so that is a fair argument for the Brian Cashman detractors. But, like I said, Things could be a lot worse, and the fact that they have won five World Series championships since 96, no other major league team has done that in that time. And the way I see it is the Yankees, and they've had the talent to win World Series over the last 14 years. 
They've had the chance to even win the World Series since 2001, more, all right, because they won in 2009, and then since 2009, had not been back, and even between 2001 through 2008, when they had not, they did not win a championship, they had a lot of teams who were good enough to win a championship. They just did not, and I feel like there's only so much that a general manager and a manager can do. All they can do is put the players, put the team in a position to win, and the Yankees general manager, Brian Cashman, he's put them in a position, in my opinion, to win World Series throughout these 20-plus years where they've only won one, throughout these 14 years now where they have not been to the World Series. He has put the talent on the field to, for the team to win. The players just have not gotten it done in the playoffs. To me, that's the biggest reason why the Yankees have only won one World Series since 2001. And it's the biggest reason why they have not been back to the World Series since 2009. So, Brian Cashman, who a lot of Yankee fans want to see fired, and granted, he's been with the Yankees now, the GM, I said, since 98, so that's 25 years now. He's been there a very long time. <laughs> so, for a lot of people, that alone is reason enough for the Yankees to move on now and get a fresh voice, fresh mind in there because 25 years for anybody with any organization is a long time. He's running the Yankees, so 25 years, a long time. Okay, fair. And I would be more on board with that thinking if the Yankees had had several years of not being a good team. But like I said, just last year, they were in the – American League Championship Series with a chance, just needing four wins to make the World Series, and they did not get it done. When you look at the Yankees from 96 through 2000, when they won those four World Series in five years, and I've said this before, all right, the Yankees teams, the Yankees have had more talent, more talented teams since those Yankee teams that won four in five years. They've had several teams that were more talented, but those 96 through 2000 Yankees, they were clutch. And they got hits in big spots in the playoffs that led to them winning games, winning series, getting to the World Series, and winning, okay? And when you look at the Yankees roster, Paul O'Neill, very good player. But he wasn't an every-year all-star. Scott Brochus, their third baseman. He was a solid role player, but he wasn't an all-star, all right? Second baseman, they had Chuck Knobloch, Mariano Duncan. Chuck Knobloch was an all-star before the Yankees got him in 98, but when they got him, Chuck Knobloch fell off, <laughs> and he was basically a role player. He was not an all-star player for the Yankees, all right? Tino, love Tino. He was a solid guy who might have made the all-star team for the Yankees, Twice He made it one time for sure in 97 where he led the American League. Now, he had 40-something home runs that year uh, and made the All-Star team. He won the home run derby that year for the Yankees in 97. But if you look at the roster as a whole, they always had you know a young outfielder out there, whether it was Shane Spencer or Ricky Liday, okay? The Yankees were not a team – with a roster that was more talented than some of the Yankees teams that we've seen in the past years, right? I remember seeing a Yankees team in 2006, folks, that literally had an all-star at every position, <laughs> and they lost in the first round of the playoffs, all right? So 